doing a facing operation on the McKinney. I've got a single point tool uh, carbide I'm using a feed rate of 5 inches per minute. Spindle speed is 2000 RPM. Taking a pretty light cut. You can see this uh, front one to be honest I don't know what the cut is because it's a, a rough stock but the uh, first pass seemed to go really well so I'm going to try this second pass here on the back side. facing before so uh, this is my literally my second attempt at facing operation and they say the first one was relatively successful. So there you go second and, and first facing operation on the McKinney. Very, very smooth finish. Very happy with it. Doing a, a finish pass with a 0.01 depth to cut as the coolant running. And the uh, finish is much better. Uh, let me get the air here. Literally almost a mirror finish. Probably if I reduce that depth of cut to three or four thousandths, it would be close to a mirror, but I'm not even looking anywhere near as good of a finish as I'm getting here, so happy with what I got. This is a 10,000 step to cut, a 2,000 RPM, single point carbide tool at about an inch and a half diameter on that uh, facing, facing tool. Here's the uh, final 10,000s cleanup pass down the center of the strip. Kind of wet down there, but uh, we'll take it out and take some pictures when it's done. Okay, here's the uh, final part now that all the finished pass have been done. does have a fairly perceptible feel in the height difference. So when I did the outside clamps, I think I'm actually clamping the, the edges down further to the bed. Uh, the center is, uh, feels a little, a little lower. Just to show you how shiny that was, uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but I scratched that aluminum with my fingernail right there. That's how uh, smooth that finish is. So again, really happy with the finish. And that difference in height right there is not going to matter for uh, for the part I'm making all. This is way better than what I need. So again, very happy. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is going to be my first metal cutting. Hopefully not the uh, Faces of death here. Uh, I'm going to bore a few holes. This will be my first part in metal that I actually am not just practicing on, unless of course it screws up, in which case this is going to be a new practice part. So just going to make five holes. Got a 3 16 flat end mill. Uh, four of the holes quarter inch diameter. One of them at 190, just barely over the three quarter. Doing it in uh, 4500 RPM. 0.125 steps.
I slowed the feed rate down just because uh, it's supposed to be 14. I slowed it down to 7 because I got a little bit of a chicken. Plunge is uh, 3.5. I guess I'm going to speed it up a little bit because that's awful slow. So we'll do 70% uh, of the 7 it's supposed to be, and here we go. Practically painless. Guess I'll try it full speed and see what happens. Okay, really going for broke now. Got the big cutter in there and no turning back. Now that I watched that cut, I don't uh, should have used a different end mill. I don't know why I used the long one there. I got some uh, some stubbies that would have had a lot less stick out on that tool. But everything looks oh yeah, it feels great. Everything looks like it cut perfectly. So there we go. That part is finished. <laughs>